वेलकम टू मेडिकल डायलॉग्स योर डेली डोज ऑफ हेल्थ एंड मेडिकल न्यूज आई एम डॉक्टर नंदिता मोहन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज द रीसेंट परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ डायबिटीज मेलाइटिस वी ऑल नो दैट वी आर गोइंग थ्रू एन एपिडेमिक ऑफ डायबिटीज मेलाइटिस दैन फ्रॉम कम्बाइंड डेथ फ्रॉम कैंसर ट्यूबोक्लोस और इवन इन्फेक्शियस डिजीजेज लाइक कोविड नाइनटीन इट सेल्फ Science has been fighting with this menace for long years and with the advent of insulin in 1921 the mankind started having an edge towards controlling this menace now the 20th century has seen a different perspective altogether towards the management of diabetes mellitus apart from controlling the glycemic level alone the trust of management has shifted towards a cardiovascular protection because more number of deaths are happening from heart attacks or heart failure than because of glycemic complications of diabetes now in the process roche diagnostics has introduced the nt pro bnp test which is a spot test to rule out heart failure today i shall be talking to dr sandeep sewalkar who is the head of medical and scientific affairs for india and neighboring countries at roche diagnostics india the country's in vitro diagnostics market leader now with over 15 years of experience in the medical affairs and clinical research field dr sandeep sewalkar oversees the centralized point of care molecular and tissue diagnostics from a medical and scientific standpoint at roche diagnostics india a graduate from the government medical college miraj maharashtra dr sandeep also holds a phd from the indian institute of technology mumbai currently at roche india diagnostics for over 6 years dr sandeep sewalkar leads the medical and scientific affairs vertical at the company via his previous experience working with companies like johnson and johnson medical india and glenmark pharmaceuticals limited where he led their medical affairs function in the indian sub continent and was a clinical research lead we will be discussing with him on how this new dimension in diagnosis and management shall revolutionize the fight against this dreadful disease we welcome you sir we are happy to have you here with us on medical dialogues yeah thank you dr nandita for the kind introduction really happy to be a part of uh, uh, medical dialogue and uh look looking forward to uh in depth discussion the point that you really discussed that the disease area really matters the most for uh, india firstly if you can tell us or will you tell our viewers that how the nt pro bnp test incorporated into the cardiac screening in diabetes patients shall help them just before getting into this answer i'll uh, will try to address what is nt pro bnp right so it's a very active pro hormone inactive for pro hormone that released from the the same molecule that produces bnp so uh, it actually it released in response to the changes actually happening inside the heart right the pressure uh, changes inside the heart what we uh, in in a clinical terminology it's a biomarker for myocardial stretch so when your any situations arises at the heart level uh, it stretches the myocardium and this nt pro bnp that is a, a non active pro hormone released in the circulation now coming back to your question uh, it, it's really now when we talk about diabetes mellitus as a disease uh, it actually it has very multifold increased risk for cardiovascular disease uh, uh, and and cvd remains the leading cause of death among diabetes patients whether you look at from a global perspective or you look at from the india perspective Uh, it actually has very wide spectrum of cvd risk when it comes to diabetes mellitus patients so uh, when we really think about diabetes it's a chronic progressive disorder uh, it's actually the epidemic uh, proportion if you see from a global perspective uh, more than 500 million patients across uh, uh, globe and when you just talk about india it's more than 100 million as of today so it's really a challenging situations we are into when we really uh, see type 2 diabetes mellitus as a disease and it actually is host a serious morbidities right and cardiovascular events are the some of the most common uh, ones experienced by the diabetes patients in india as well and when we see uh, what how we currently uh, assess in the risk right in particular in diabetes patients we use various scores like priming uh, primingham scores or qri scores or procam score but it has uh, limitations when it comes reliability or accurate assessment of uh, cvd risk assessment so what we have done at roche diagnostics we always try to 
see what new taste could be added into or algorithms could be added into our uh, uh, wide range platform available or reagent menu and this recent claim extension is exactly the efforts of our R&D team to how antiprobimbing can now help clinicians to assess the risk of cardiovascular disease including heart failure in patients of uh, uh, patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus patient equally important when type 2 diabetes mellitus patients with no obvious heart disease uh, underlying uh, because not having any symptoms that indicate they have certain kind of coronary artery disease this anti pro bnp actually help us to identify these patients uh, who are at risk so clinicians really get that answers very much uh, in the uh, early stage before patients come with the symptoms uh, if if you see from a really from a screening uh, instrument point of view identify patient actually who could benefit from the uh, where clinicians could stratify these patients into moderate to severe to very severe categories and facilitating the 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 right management of this patient so if we identify uh, patients who are at risk very in the early stage that actually enable clinicians for the right management or regular screening and constant monitoring down the line also you can emphasize whether this particular test shall help only in the diagnosis of heart disease or it should be done repeatedly to monitor the disease progress the anti pro bnp uh, as a marker considered as a gold standard marker uh, for traditionally used by cardiologist uh, for the diagnosis of uh, uh, heart failure right it could be used for diagnosis it could be used for assessment of uh, disease severity or prognosis of heart failure or uh, this is i am talking from a diagnosis of heart failure now our recent claim extension right so where patient is not having any underlying cardiovascular ailment uh where actually helps uh, clinicians to assess the cardiovascular risk uh it is helpful in identifying patients uh, uh, who actually not having any history of cardiovascular disease so if you see various clinical studies conducted actually the antiprobp showed uh, a superior value uh, compared to uh, hba1c that we routinely do in diabetes patients every 6 months or uh, every 3 months or 6 months or albuminuria right uh, the albumin is a protein that uh, found in urine uh, actually showed superior value compared to these two biomarkers when it comes to prediction of cardiovascular uh, events uh, uh, in coming years time so that really has a great potential uh, in assessing the risk now coming back to your question about how frequently we should do uh, we know antibrobp levels change over uh, over the period of time and uh, enough data supported if we uh, found the reduction in antibrobp level over the period of one year or two year actually it associated with the lower subsequent risk of cardiovascular disease so we all know how comorbidities in type 2 diabetes mellitus worsen if uh, we don't have Uh, uh, uh or we don't control uh, glycemic uh, glycemic changes right if you have poor poor glycemic control patient may land up into this cardiovascular ailment so just to keep watch how patient is progressing over the period of time uh, various guidelines uh, uh, recommended that uh, anti probimp test uh, could be repeated every 6 months to 1 year why to understand if cvd risk has increased over the period of time or its cvd risk uh, decreases uh, over the period of time so it actually help uh, clinicians to individualize the decision uh, making uh, when it comes to patient situation treatment selection for uh, diabetes mesh patients yeah so sir in india if we are going through the epidemic of maturity onset diabetes mellitus per se and also its related morbidity and mortality Will you please highlight the urgency of identifying the presence of heart disease in all such diabetes patients? Prevalence of type 2 diabetes mellitus is in the worldwide is continue to increase. Right? So in particular India is really facing the big trouble when we just identify or just uh, select the adult population who are more than 18 years with diabetes is increased tremendously. Uh, it's no longer the disease of urban uh, urban population that we also face similar ch- facing similar challenges from the rural part of india as well uh, in fact it's like kind of a endemic here in india so uh, we have this one figure 77 million patients in 2019 and i'm sure in 2022 we must have crossed the 100 millions uh, uh, of patients who actually diagnosed with type 2 diabetes mellitus the, the biggest challenge what we face here in india is there are 
millions of population they actually don't know they are diabetes right and there are i, I would say the more than the double what we are seeing the exact number of diabetes uh, patient uh, those actually stand between uh, at the stage of pre diabetes where we see like the value between 100 to 125 uh they are not uh, actually the diabetes patient but uh, pre diabetes and and when the patients are not aware of uh, they actually are diabetes patients or pre diabetes patient there are likelihood uh, chances that we never see uh, or assess these patients from a cardiovascular risk and and, and their underlying disease what's actually happening and i said myocardial stage before actually patients coming with any symptoms they actually start showing certain changes at the heart level and any certain changes at the heart level that actually releases this nt pro bmp into the circulations so if we really put this test as a uh, as a screening test in diabetes patients uh, maybe having uh, really to really to stratify the risk of these patients that actually help us identifying this patient in the early stage and and put the right intervention uh, to reduce that associated morbidity and the mortality that we usually see with coronary artery disease in diabetes mission population also lastly if you could guide our viewers that whether the nt pro bnp test in diagnosing heart disease shall help the physicians choose the medicines or rather risk stratify the patients with with various uh, studies conducted the nt pro bnp value at uh, uh 125 picogram per ml if it the value is more than 125 picogram ml uh, patient consider at risk so over the period of time we have to see like one year time whether this value is increasing and decreasing that actually enable uh, clinicians to stratify the risk whether patients is fitting to were well, classified into a, a high risk category also we have to check about uh, the overall clinical condition as well so there are data uh, where pay, uh, the diabetes patient populations classified into three categories whether it's young patient with type 2 diabetes mellitation where age is less than 50 years but the diabetes duration is more than 10 years uh, with no uh, other risk factors like and that the that consider as a moderate risk patients with type 2 diabetes where the uh, the having the diabetes for more than 10 years uh with uh, no other organ damage or uh, other additional risk factors uh, so and and th- this consider as a high risk and when patient started showing symptoms uh, from a organ failure from other uh, risk factors they consider as very high risk we we have to very concentrate our efforts on these patients we are not showing any other risk factors not showing any other uh, associ- cardiac associated symptoms but uh, having a disease and young patient population so i think here uh, nt pro bmp value definitely add uh, nt pro bmp measurement on a regular interval definitely add value to stratify uh, diabetic patients like and, and it's really got a huge potential there uh, it can also uh, help physicians to discriminate as i said from higher from lower risk patients and equally important like uh, uh, to uh, also in avoiding over treatment in lower risk cases as well so now we have seen uh, newer therapies also coming into diabetes space like hglt2 inhibitors or glp1 uh, agonist uh, they actually showed the cardiovascular protective effect so so with this uh, nt pro bmp test we definitely can see a improvement in the nt pro bmp level when the patient uh, clinician switched uh the therapy to uh, either sglt2 inhibitors or uh, glp1 agonist based on the uh, nt pro bmp uh, readings also if you could just give out certain key takeaway points from this nt pro bnp diagnostic screening test sir that will be helpful for our viewers as well we say like prevention is better than cure right so uh, if we really identify higher stratify the diabetes patients based on the their risk category so really help uh, preventing those cardiovascular ailment maybe the hospitalizations maybe any other cardiovascular events or including uh, deaths as well right so it really has a great potential great value uh, in uh, diabetes patients care path thank you dr sandeep it was a pleasure having you on board with us and i hope this nt pro bnp test as a diagnostic screening tool will definitely help our healthcare professionals in better diagnosis thank you so much That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.